Students are diving into computer code for Computer Science Education Week. Schools completed a so-called Hour of Code this week. The lessons are part of a campaign created by Code.org. This nonprofit is working to foster an interest in, commu in computer rather, science education and create access in schools nationwide. Nearly 500 million students and educators all around the world have learned basic computer coding through the program since it started four years ago. Code.org co-founder and CEO, that's Hadi Artovi, is here at the table. So we should thank you and your twin brother for this. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. No, here. we're really so. glad that you're here, Hadi, because you say, listen, one hour of coding can change your life. Most people are intimidated and scared, and you say, don't be scared. Yeah, Why? we've had tens of millions of students. Actually, literally about 15% of all the students on the planet have tried an hour of code. And what you learn in one hour, you don't become a coder in one hour. What you learn is that this isn't as intimidating as what you see on TV with people like typing yeah, super typing fast very long and ones and zeros numbers. showing up on the screen. That's not how it's done. And especially in school, you can start as early as kindergarten, and the, the tutorials you do at, at that age are so easy and so much fun. But you taught yourself to code at the age of 10. That's yeah. what I think is so fascinating about you guys. Well, a lot of people start learning this field on their own. Uh, and the, you know, the reason we're trying to get this into school is because every kid has the opportunity or should have the opportunity to learn, but most aren't going to be self-taught. Uh, this is something that should be integrated as part of the school system. So everybody, if they want to, if they take to it, has that chance. So explain how it works. I know you helped to direct, ha, push the Trump administration to redirect $200 million into this, and then Silicon Valley or the tech industry followed with another 300. How does that half a billion dollar in computer science funding translate into coding? So, so the, real, the, the real use of that money, what's important to do is to help America's teachers learn how to teach computer science. Because if you went to a school and said, you know, why aren't you teaching this? They'd say, because we don't have any teachers who themselves learned it. And if the teachers don't know it, you know, you got to start the system somewhere. And the, the number one use of that money is to train existing teachers, math teachers, English teachers, history teachers, so they can teach a little bit of computer science as part of the school day. Yeah, one of the problems that you're hearing from the corporate world when it comes to hiring is that the jobs are here. We just don't have any people to hire exactly. that are trained for these jobs. And, and no offense to the math industry, you have some people saying, "Not don't teach trigonometry, teach coding. Because th these are the courses and the skill sets that, that, that children of tomorrow's generation are going to need. Are you starting to see that change in school districts around the country yet? So we're not saying don't teach something. Right. <laughs> Just to be clear, we don't want to pick fights with trigonometry. Um, but we do <laughs> think... But, but, but Hadi, some people would say coding is more useful than trig yeah. on, no. there's, trigonometry. There's for sure more jobs and more money in it. Uh -huh. uh, but I think education is important to give people a well-rounded background and all sorts of things. I hear you. Uh, but what we think is important is for school to at least offer it as an option. Mm -hmm. so the majority of America's schools don't even offer a choice to teach, to learn computer science. And what? so if you're... If your kid is going to a school that doesn't offer, they'll never have that chance. What's your basic explanation to, to let people know exactly what coding is? You know, we've all heard the word. We all think it's, it's, it's very, uh, there are a lot of numbers. What, what exactly does it do? Um, writing code is basically giving a computer instructions for yeah. something you want it to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you've ever had an idea saying, oh, they should build an app that does blah, blah, blah. You know, first of all, you should think I should build an app. <laughs> okay. But the way you would build an app or a website is using coding. Mm -hmm. And this plays into, um, we're talking about female empowerment mm -hmm. <laughs> as of exactly. late and talking about that in Silicon Valley specifically, uh, more STEM jobs for women in particular, science, technology, math, engineering. Uh, you hear organizations like Girls Who Code. Um, what are you doing specifically? All, it's important for the guys to know how to do yeah. it, but what are you doing to tailor to, to women, to bring them on to the sector as well? This is so important, and part of why we're trying to get this into the school system is when you teach something as part of school, you get much more balanced. If you look inside math, actually, the math, uh, mathematics in high schools is equal between girls and boys, it's about 49, 51. Uh, and what we've done at Code.org, we just announced 10 million girls have accounts on Code.org. Mm. And in fact, if only 1% of the girls who are coding on Code.org went on to study it in college, it would balance the disparity between men and women. I love it. Hadi Partovi, so great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.